safety matters, Apple AirTags. They're supposed to help keep you track of your own things, but the device has been making headlines recently for another reason. Local 22's Courtney Kramer joins us now live from the newsroom with some of the dangers. Courtney? Lauren, people are using air tags to track other people or cars in what's being called air tag stalking. Now, police are warning people to be careful as it becomes more prevalent in both Vermont and nationwide. Air tags, just unveiled by Apple last year as a way to track your phone, keys, purse, anything you stick the Bluetooth tracker to. But police warn criminals are also tapping into the technology. It's, it's a serious problem now. It's becoming more prevalent. Williston Police Chief Patrick Foley says the Bluetooth device also makes the perfect tool for stalking, often without the victim even being aware. It's so small. You know, it's the size of uh, a half dollar probably. You know, uh, and the thing is, is that because it's so easily to just drop it in a purse or stick it on a bumper of a car or behind a license plate, uh, we, we're seeing more and more um, issues with that in, in the area. Foley adds it's a real danger for people in domestic situations who may have a restraining order against someone. Police say typically your iPhone will alert you that an unknown air tag is nearby and following you. That's what happened to a woman in St. Johnsbury last week. Vermont State Police were called after she suspected an ex-boyfriend placed one in her car while making a repair. Investigation revealed that the uh, suspect in this case uh, had placed it uh, within a taillight assembly and uh, the subject when questioned uh, admitted to doing so. But in other cases, it may not be so easy to hold stalkers accountable. Lieutenant Greg Campbell leads VSP's technology investigation unit. He says while these crimes are fairly new, he anticipates some challenges for law enforcement. There are safeguards in place, but on the flip side, as Apple has indicated, uh, it is uh, a form of anonymous and encrypted uh, data source. So uh, the challenge comes for law enforcement is once the uh, device is located because it's based, uh, you know, its purpose is to remain anonymous. Yes, it will require that extra step to determine who it belongs to. Now, if you locate an air tag that does not belong to you or you suspect you're being tracked, police say to give them a call. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.